hi. I miss Sagittarius, aka Sonequa. People also call me Sunny. I'm in here to talk to you, especially the girls that's out there. That's an abusive, emotional relationship. I'm sorry. Oh, I was in a two-year relationship. It was coming to an end. And um, I've I never been with anyone else for 10 years, just my boyfriend. We've been together for 10 years. And um, I'm assistant manager at a convenience store. So this guy that came in, I gave him my number. We've been talking ever since. He became, he was like the perfect guy. <laughs> but he was like wolves in sheep's clothing. And I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Um, everything was everything. After four months, the true colors came out. It was criticism. I told him stuff about me that he would use in the argument, use it against me. It was like uh, manipulation. I was 186 pounds. And now I'm 150. <laughs> the narcissistic rage when they're cool one minute and then they just go fucking ballistic out of nowhere. There's nothing you can do. I've been slapped. I've been beat. I got a machete pulled out on me. I've been punched. And infidelity, narcissistic only see one side and that's their side. Nothing you could do with is right. You could do all you can. You could even be perfect and it's still not good enough. And I just want to speak up for the women that's out there, the girls that's going through this. Keep your head up, get out, have a strong mind. They will break you. Because you're not in jail does not mean you're not doing time. I am a Sagittarius, most fun, loving person, and I don't even know myself. I, I haven't, every day I cry, I'm just depressed, I have nobody to talk to, so I'm going live on YouTube because I'm, I, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, and it's, And I just want to let y'all know, this is real. This is real. Mind control, everything is real. Narcissistic, narciss I'm sorry. Narcissism is actually an uh, epidemic between 60% and males that are narcissists. And I didn't even know what that, re what that even meant until I started looking it up. And it's a list of things. And... Uh, I can't even, I can't even, even, this is so much, it's so much, I can't even think right now, I can't even eat, I'm depressed, I can't sleep, uh, God, they keep you in a loop, they know how to manipulate you, if you have a conversation with them, they know how to manipulate it, to make you f forget to make you forgetful and they put words in your mouth and then you have to second guess yourself and you're like oh did I say this or did I say that that's how they get you another thing is they love to argue they love to argue they'll pick a fight remotely about any and everything and then if you yell or if you speak if you talk back because narcissistic people they are very sensitive and they don't like Criticism. They could dish it out all day, but they don't like when you criticize them because they're actually sensitive and have very low self-esteem. Um, I'm just trying to point out some key facts so you guys 
females in general can peek this out. Um, what else? Um, uh, it usually show in about four months. I even researched it. Actually, it happened in exactly four months. Yes, I met him in March. So, like four months later, the nar the it was the controlling, very very controlling. It's not they control you because they care about you. They control you to monitor you and have full control. Especially when you don't have anybody, they try to isolate you from everybody. And especially when I left my like I left my ex, I left him everything. So I came here. And I was basically 100% dependent on him. And that's what narcissists love, is for you to be dependent on them. And that's another thing. Um, they criticize you in a joking way in the beginning, but the criticism is actually every day. And it's usually men with mommy issues that they didn't get enough loving attention and nourishment um, during their younger years, and they felt abandonment. And that's another reason why a lot of men, I'm not, I'm not choosing, uh, I'm not being sexist here. It's just in gen generally in men, especially uh, since I'm a female talking about another guy. This is why I'm, I'm not saying all men are narcissists. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying in general. Um, and uh, that's another thing. Oh. Of course, they're very good-looking people. They're very intelligent, and that's why they can get over on mind control and confusing you when they uh, talk. Actually, I feel better. See, I have nobody to talk to. All my family, I'm from Detroit, so I don't have family down here. So at least, you know, I can get this out on YouTube, and I feel a lot better. Um, what else? Um, oh, another thing. They move really fast. They move very, very fast to get full control over you. And what I mean very, 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 uh, very fast is that I met him in March. I moved in in July. They always use, I know how to manage money. No, they don't. They suck at spending. They just want to manage your money. They want to get joint accounts. And then they switch out the account, like lock you out your account passwords and everything so um you don't have access to it and that's how they get you um they come off they come off as the most sweetest most gener generous people in the world and you went for a rude awakening um of course they get you by taking you out on dates getting you oh my god when they do something for you you will never live it down they will always tell you what they've done for you and they will not once mention what you have done for them that's how they work um they're self-centered if they always talk about I, I i i i i i that's another sign of narcissism they always even when you have a conversation you bring something about yourself they'll find a way to turn the conversation back on you that's how narcissism works narcissists does not care about they don't know how to love that's first foremost if you don't know how to love you you don't love yourself first so how can you love somebody else not taking root pause sign but um they don't love themselves um narcissistic parents um uh, very oh my god i see anytime you make your kids cry by telling them to be perfect and everything else is just insane it's insane. Um, 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 I'm trying to pick some key points out. I didn't even think I was going to get out here and do a video, honestly. Um, that's it. Oh, oh, they don't have friends because they hate to be around other people because other people will see them for themselves. So they hate, they don't hate, and I have a friend, but they don't have friends. They're loners. And if they spend their time around you and constantly clinging to you, it's because to get more information, to, uh, <coughs> <coughs> to get to know you. Um, and after a breakup, they will exploit you. They will do anything. They will blackmail you. They're so convincing, everybody will freaking believe them. Um, they're liars. 
they will say everything bad about you because that's what they're doing so if they accuse you of everything under the sun it's because they're doing it um there's no negotiate no no negotiating with a narcissist there's no compromising with a narcissist um and uh, one thing that a uh, mind control that they get you is that you know what's right and what's wrong but they'll make it feel like everything is your fault i know it's stupid i know it's like how can you so they will get you through fear these when i tell you people get mad people get mad but nobody has seen mad like a uh, narcissistic rage narcissistic rage is like scary beyond me um i've seen it a lot of times uh one they get you through control and fear i'm gonna give you an example maybe a couple weeks ago um we went to applebee's and um the waiter the lady the waitress came to the table and i looked at her and he flipped out um, and I started to cry because I have been emotional and he's looking around like oh you trying to impress the guy behind us with your tears and he left me and I will be spoiled out this was the second time left me like I'm in Clearwater and we drove to Tarpon Springs 45 minutes left me and he actually pulled out the parking lot park and Arby's or something that he left me <coughs> And he made me walk to Arby's. Um, he doesn't drink. Uh, one of the key signs that I've actually noticed was when we met and he said he didn't drink. Narcissists can't drink. Why? Because they're already bipolar. So if they drink, it, I can only imagine when he's sober and it's crazy. You better run for the hills that they've been drinking and they want to go freaking ballistic fucking ape shit um that's pretty much pretty much i wish somebody would have told me this um everything that glitters isn't gold um on top of everything else that he's told me was like super red flags but you know when you like somebody you're blinded to the fact because you want to be loved and you want to love somebody so you are blinded to whatever they say you know um, it hurt it really do and another thing I'm sorry I keep saying another thing but I just I just want to tell you guys the lack of compassion like they're empty people so even after sex you will feel you will feel empty and alone they don't know how to love so you won't ever feel that you'll always forever feel empty um they don't hug they they just all about themselves like if you say well you didn't do this on there and they'll instantly say well what about me and that's some sick shit i've never in my life he kicks me out almost every day if i say something or i stand up for myself I get kicked out every day um oh let me bring this up since I am so nice and a Sagittarius and I'm so very sweet um this is another thing this baby mom got out of jail people call me stupid crazy whatever she lived she lived with us for about a month and a half hmm and it was signs the way she would act her head would be down it's i don't know it, it it's not me i've seen it i've seen how they act and it's it's not normal these are fucking abused mentally emotionally abused women um narcissists can never be faithful that's another thing that i learned early on um they can't be faithful they cannot they cannot for the moment but they cannot they are they will persuade you they will lie they will manipulate you um i try to do everything i can and the most hurtful part about it i don't know i keep saying this is that i left 
my boyfriend of 10 years who knew how to love, who loved me. And I, I left him when we could have just worked it out. And what's even worse is that he moved on with somebody else. So I called him a couple times and I would cry. And I would be like, I would tell him, I'm, I'm sorry. I, Cause I'm like, just, just forgive me. I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm sorry. It was just like a wake up call. Cause I love somebody who actually loved me. I was in love with me and never put me down. Never criticized me. Nothing. Just a little was good enough for him, and I gave all of that. If y'all got. It's gonna be ups and downs in relationships, but whatever y'all going through, just work it out. These people out here is crazy. Just work it out. Don't keep moving on to the next and jumping. No spirits latch on, no spirits attach. Just just pray for somebody good in your life. Just, just don't jump into it because that's what I did. And it's going to take years. I'll even look it up. It's going to take, they said, at least 11 to 22 months. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to tell my business business and I'm just giving y'all some heads up but it's gonna take some time for me to get through this and a lot of prayer and everything and what I'm asking y'all to do is also pray for me too because this is some serious stuff so thank you I miss Sagittarius have a blessed day you guys